So, taking the number 10 spot, we have the Bandai Tomashi Nation's SH Figure Arts The Mandalorian Season 2. This is just a vast improvement over their Season 1. Um, I love the new metallic colour, it's way more accurate. I think too many figures do the chrome look, and that's just not right for me. The unmasked Dinjarin head sculpt is really good as well, and yeah, I really like the new helmet, that looks a lot more accurate and less squished. So yeah, uh, overall, very happy with it, and he's at number 10. Kaboom! Number 9, we have the TKT 112 scale Vengeance, or the Robert Pattinson Batman, or the Matt Reeves Batman. This is a custom figure that was a very limited release by TKT. Um, I'm very much looking forward to their new things in the future, as this is their first figure they've released in the 112 scale. It's very good, I uh, love the tailoring of the suit and like the armour, it's 3D printed and stuff. I did have a few QC issues, so hopefully they fix that in the future. Uh, the wire in my cape was broken and the two head sculpts, the angry head sculpt and the Bruce Wayne head sculpt, came too small, so I had to drum all that to fit. Taking my number 8 spot, we have the SH Figure Arts The Mandalorian Season 2 Luke Skywalker. This is supposed to be his look from The Mandalorian, however it is inaccurate, but for me it makes a very good Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker, and a kind of cool what if Jedi Luke Skywalker, where we see him post Return of the Jedi, and he isn't a hermit, and he isn't, you know, just a really sour, sad git. So yeah, I'm really happy with this, and now we've gone to number 7. Kaboom! Taking the number 7 spot, here we have the Ghost Rider, uh, I can't remember what it's called, PW Toys Skeleton Rider is what it's called. This is based on the Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider films, except the head sculpt is the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ghost Rider head. I still don't know why they did that, maybe they couldn't get the sculpt for the movie look, but overall, really happy with this figure. The tailoring is really good, I am worried that the lever is going to deteriorate in the future, but time will tell, of course. And the bike is really cool, it is a separate release, but I did decide to get both of them because Ghost Rider isn't complete without its hell cycle, so on to the next one. Cut. Number 6, we have the Medicom Mafex The Boys Homelander. I forgot how much I love this figure, it is such a cool figure, the hands are very great, the sculpt is amazing, the cape is really good, though it's a weird material, and the head sculpts are really good uh, likeness to Anthony Starr, and overall he's just a really fun figure to pose around and have him killing various superheroes, so yeah that's why he takes my number 6 spot. Cut. Number 5, we once again have a figure slash character I know nothing about. This is Manipal Studios' drug dealer, which is based on the Breaking Bad Walter White character. I've never seen the show. I couldn't get further than three episodes into it. I just find it incredibly boring. But I really like this figure. It's very good. The likeness is amazing. And I like the accessories, especially the glasses. The glasses are absolutely fantastic. Cut. Taking the number 4 spot, we have the SH Figure Arts Bandai to Machinations Doctor Strange The Multiverse of Madness Doctor Strange. I couldn't not include this in my top 10, considering I have now made 4 customs using this base body, so I must love it to a certain degree, and yeah, I do love it. It's a very fantastic figure, um, the likeness is very good, but the Manipal Studios is better. The accessories are fantastic, the updated height compared to the multi uh, the Infinity War version, is a much better. He actually looks like an adult now instead of a teenager, because he was very small for some reason. Um, the cape is better in some ways, and in other ways not better, so I did make a custom cape for him. But overall, really happy with this release, and I really wish they made other characters from the film, but they won't. Cut!
In at number three, I'm technically cheating because we have two figures. This is the PC Toys Agent J and Agent K figure. Obviously, if you can't tell, this is the Men in Black figures. Agent J and Agent K from the Men in Black films. Really cool. Love the likenesses, like the bodies. The tailoring is very good. I can't really think of anything they could have improved on. Maybe the head articulation, if you made them separate heads and necks instead of all one piece like Hot Toys. But again, a lot of custom figures don't do that for some reason. Kaboom! Taking the number two spot, we have something I know nothing about once again. The ink blot by Felix Toys, which is the Watchmen series, well, film I should say, Rorschach. Again, I know nothing about this character, but that shows how incredible this figure is because it's my number two of the whole year. The tailoring is amazing, the, cus the customization, as in accessories, is fantastic as well, and overall, just an incredible, incredible likeness to the character. And there is a good unmasked head as well, but I forgot to take photos of that for this video. And the number one figure release of 2022 for me is the Aton Customs 112 scale Hell Detective or Constantine. This figure is absolutely glorious. I love the film. Even though it's not comic book Hellblazer Constantine, I love Keanu's interpretation of it. I love his suit, the tailoring is amazing. Even has the details like the inlay of the coat with the colours. And it even has the satanic, no, sorry, Star of David symbol on the bottom of his shoes, which is just a really cool touch that they didn't need to do, because when the hell are you ever going to see his shoes? But he definitely takes the number one spot for me. So what do you think? Do you think he is the top 10 figure for you? Or let me know in the comments what figure release you picked up and you think is the best of the year. And I'll catch you next video. Peace.